Hello darlings, uh, you join me on Monday and very unusually uh, I'm here, I'm in the cottage and I've been here all day. I haven't gone to the yard, I haven't gone out for any kind of drive or adventure or anything. There are a number of reasons for this. One is that I'm still feeling under the weather with, uh, with this cold or man flu or whatever on earth it is. Um, number two is I'm just knackered and I needed a rest. Uh, number three, I had some kind of life admin that I really needed to do uh, and quite a considerable amount of washing up. But the other reason is that uh, a package was being delivered. It, now, they tried to deliver it last night. It needed a signature and um, I was at work. So it was re-delivered today and I had to wait in for it which did me a real favour because it forced me to have a, a chill out day of effectively doing nothing and I feel an awful lot better for it. Now <clears throat> the package is from the lovely Sean of the Sean James Cameron YouTube channel and social media empire and I knew that um, so I got whoops I got as far, I opened the box, it's uh, rather nicely gift wrapped and there's a tag on the gift wrap and it says, start filming before opening from Sean. So I'm being a good boy, I'm doing what, I t what I'm told and uh, I have started filming before opening. So. I've genuinely got absolutely no idea what this is. Um, didn't give me any clues or anything like that. Just um, uh, just said, oh, by the way, there's another package coming for you. And I've had an email to say that you will need to sign for it. So here we go. It's rather nice, isn't it? God, feels like Christmas or my birthday or something. And we get into this. I am intrigued. Oh my God. Sean, what have you done? <laughs> okay, I am, um, I'm a bit gobsmacked. I'm more than a bit gobsmacked. Ah. Right then, darlings. <laughs> Not sure where I got to. Had to stop filming because once I saw what this was and how unexpected and incredibly generous it is, uh, I had to stop filming and call Sean just to say, oh, you know, just to <clears throat> properly express my thanks. So, and we were on the phone for about an hour, as usual. Uh, so, um, let me tell you what I've got here. Um, I have, pardon me while I go and get them. For the past year or so, um, I have been using these eBay special microphones, um, they were about 16 or 17 quid off eBay. Um, they're better than nothing, but they're not brilliant. And I mentioned that um, on my list of uh, improvements to try and improve the quality of the uh, videos and whatnot was to concentrate on the sound. And I said that um, uh, probably uh, sometime around next spring, I was going to invest in um, a really good microphone. Uh, and that's what I've got sitting here, a really good microphone, but not just really good, probably one of, if not the best available. Uh, certainly one of the most expensive. Uh, what we've got here is the DJI microphone and um, it's an incredibly generous gift and I can't wait to start um, 
having a little bit of a play with them. So, let's get a knife so I can get into the package. Package. Right, it's just a cellophane wrap, isn't it? So I can... There we go. <sighs> okay, how do I get into the box? <laughs> okay, All right now you don't pull that. Well, this shows you my technical abilities, doesn't it? Give me a bit of first rate technology, and I can't even get into the damn box. How do you? I can't even work out how the hell it works. Oh, hang on, is that a seal there? Ah. Oh, yeah, there's a thing here saying pull. Well, there you go, pull that off and... Oh, there we are. Oh, I see. There we are, there we are. Oh my God, I tell you what, the difference between, I mean, this weighs nothing, cheap plastic, this weighs a ton. Goodness me. <clears throat> oh. Right, I should swap cameras at this point, shouldn't I? And. Uh, so that I can actually show you um, what we're looking at. See you in two seconds. Okay, so <clears throat> that to me looks uh, a little bit scary. So as I understand it, um, <clears throat> again, let me show you my old ones here. Dead simple. You've got um, the case is a charging case. So you charge the case and then the case will then charge the individual receivers even when they're um, even when the case isn't plugged in. So you have a transmittery bit, goes into the bottom of your phone, and then you have the two microphones uh, which you clip onto whatever you want to clip them onto. So uh, as I understand it, this is exactly the same principle except it's a lot more... Um, it looks a lot more technical. It's got lots of flashing lights and, uh, oh, hell's teeth. What does that say? Language, English. Uh, yes, that bit. Oh, God. I'd better read the bloody instructions, hadn't I? Otherwise, I'm going to be... Oh, it comes with a bag. Look, nice little bag there. Oh, I like a bag. And what do we got? Oh, what's that? Quick start guide. That's what we want. I like a quick start. Um, ah, okay. Right. Okay, right. <clears throat> I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a bit of a play with these. So yeah, so I need to sort that out. Then it's got some adapters here, which presumably they pull out, right? And so you pop that adapter onto this, and it will then plug into my iPhone, and then these splendid chaps. Um, these are the microphone receivers, and they've got a, they've got a clippy, clippy thing there. But ah, Sean was telling me about this. They've got a really strong magnet, so that you can use the magnet um, rather than the rather than the clip. There you go. Quite impressive. 
Okay, right. I'm going to have a, a play with these and see if I can figure out how they work. And uh, I'll bring you back and we can, do a, we can do a sound check or something. Catch you in a minute. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay, are we... No, we're not working, are we? Okay, testing, testing. One, two, and indeed, three. Right, well, um, let's try recording outside when there's cars and stuff going by. And now let's try it with the microphone a little bit further down my top and with the microphone muff thingy on it. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, darlings, well, you now join me in the front parlour, uh, where I'm starting to enjoy spending time, actually. Uh, yeah, never thought I'd say that. Right, the, um, the microphones are on charge. It's been about an hour since I spoke to you last. I've been desperately looking up the instructions. It's all a wee bit um, technical. Uh, the cheap microphones I had before, you just plugged them in and they were what they were. Um, this is quite a lot more involved. I need to learn a bit more about them. Uh, and uh, I need to just say again, a massive, massive thank you to Sean for an incredibly generous and thoughtful gift. And I would also like to apologise to him for uh, the amount of times I'm going to be nagging him over the next few days asking him what this setting should be on, how does this work, what should I be doing with that. So apologies in advance for that. I only put you there, I only put you there the other day and there's a bloody spider's web already. Uh, I house share, uh, I share my house with spiders, darlings. But the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is weight and weight loss. My friend Emma is uh, embarking on oh God, what they call awfully these days, uh, a weight loss journey. You know, <clears throat> trying to get rid of a bit, basically. And I thought that I would be supportive and competitive at the same time. Uh, and I thought um, I would join her. Uh, she is trying to lose two stone. So I am also going to try and lose two stone. What will my method be, I hear you ask? Well, uh, it's going to be a twofold method. Eat a bit less, move about a bit more. That's my cunning plan. So, I broke out my old scales. Now, these needed a new battery, um, God, about nine years ago, which is the last time that I weighed myself. Um, and I have now put a new battery in them, so they now once again operate as scales. And my starting point for my own attempt at weight loss is to find out how much I weigh now um, so that I'll know how much, if any, I've managed to shift. And I thought we could have a little bit of fun with that. I thought you might like to guess how much I currently weigh. So I'll give you some clues to help your guessing. Now, obviously, I am a fat bloke. That's, um, I don't need to tell you that. You've got eyes, this is a video. Um, I am six foot five inches tall. I've got a 48 inch chest. My waist is 36 inches and my uh, feet are size 11. Um, my, uh, my little tinkle is about average for a Welshman. So figure on that weighing about 30 or 40 pounds. So there you go, darlings. Pop your guesses as to my current weight in stones, pounds and ounces, please. I don't understand metric. I am old school. I was born into old money. Only just, it only lasted for about another two months after I was born and then, uh, and then Great Britain decimalised. Uh, but yeah, make your guess in the comments below. How much do I weigh in stones? pounds and ounces and I promise you I won't be offended.
Oh, yes, and the ongoing saga of the telephone table. Well, things are prone to change. I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of advice, a lot of opinions, but as things stand at the moment, this is how the table looks. We've got the lamp. We've got our wonderful new, rather aggressive, flippy up addressy thing. The ashtray has found its way back to the table, having been on the coffee table. The telephone is on the lower level, on the extreme edge. Oh, and this should be out here. Uh, and there's the lovely little telephone money box from Sean with a couple of quid in it. Now, I can't remember if I showed you these before, but I found these on Facebook Marketplace just um, half a mile away from the restaurant. So the other night I... Um, I went and collected them. These are Denby and they are 1970s. Uh, they are the potter's wheel pattern with the green accent, which is obviously perfect for the parlour, um, by David Yorath, uh, I believe. Uh, and I think they're perfect there on the two cabinets. Now, I have got three, um, but... I'm not sure where the third one is going to go as yet. And these were a bit of a bargain, my lovelies. Uh, if you look on eBay, these go for uh, around the 20, 25 pounds each mark. And I got all three uh, for seven of the King's pounds. Um, so what we need now uh, are some plants to go in them. And I think that's going to be my next job. Now that my parcel has arrived, uh, I am now free to go down to uh, down to a supermarket in town and uh, pick up um, pick up hopefully pick up some plants. So I'm going to go and do that now, and um, I'll see you when I get back. I'm back, darlings, and uh, I thought for a little bit of fun. Um, I would unpack my shopping with you. Not that there is much of it. Um, I've been to Morrison's, uh, not because it's my supermarket of choice, but it is the supermarket that is nearest to me. Uh, the Morrison's is this side of town. Tesco, Sainsbury's are quite a distance the other side of town, and it would mean driving through town. Who can be asked to do that on a Monday night? Uh, and there isn't a waitrose at all, unfortunately. But there we go. Let's have a look what we've uh, let's have a look what we've bought. I'll tell you what. I'll move you in a little bit closer, and I shall slightly alter the angle because I can do that with my clever uh, electronic -y gimbal-y uh, thing me bob. Right. So we have a triffid. I bought a triffid. It is a, um, what the hell is it? A Monstera Deliciosa. And I had to guess at the size of the pot. Actually, let me go and get a pot. Yeah, I had to guess at the size of the pot and whether it would fit in my Denby one. I, oh God, I'm glad I didn't go any bigger. I'm glad I didn't go any bigger. Oh, perfect. It's a perfect fit, darlings. So there we go. So there's one of those. I'll get the other part. Pardon me coughing and spluttering. I have got the lurgy. Uh, not sure what flavour lurgy I've got, but it's a lurgy of some sort. Oh, that fit. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That fits in there perfectly. Oh, what good guesswork on my part. So there we are. They will be making their way to the bottom of the stairs. Now, what else did I buy? Ah, now then. As you know, darlings, I mean, <laughs> I'm there somewhere. As you know, darlings, uh, I like to eat well. But on a Monday, I like to eat rubbish. Uh, and so on Monday, lunchtime is normally a takeaway treat. Uh, at the yard with mustard or uh, with Captain Mustard um, or wherever. Uh, I didn't get my takeaway treat today, did I? So I thought I would go for the next best thing. Now... There isn't a takeaway anywhere near Windy Bottom. So, I bought some rubbish food. I don't normally have crap food in the house. But today I have chip shop style battered sausages. 
that you roast in the oven. Frozen chips. I never have frozen chips. If I want chips, I make them. But yeah, this is my craft food treat for this week, soon as I didn't get one. And no idea if these are any good. Bisto curry sauce granules. So there you go. That's going to be emergency crap food lunch. If I can't, if I'm not out and about on a Monday, I can make my own takeaway style crap. Now, you know, I can make beautiful restaurant style Chinese food, Asian food, uh, Nepali food, whatever you care to name, but I want crap crap. On a Monday, I demand absolute rubbish. Although, how that's gonna work out with my weight loss thing, I don't know, but sorry, we'll just say that Mondays don't count. And then I bought <coughs> um, red roses for the table. I like to have flowers on the table here. And because the flowers were, they were £3.49, or they were two for a fiver. So I bought these spray carnations uh, for the vase on the windowsill. So there we are. And that is my shopping for today, darlings. Right. <coughs> um, camera's at a really awkward angle now. Let me change the angle of the camera. Press the little button, it's so clever. <coughs> if I had 19 buttocks, I'd give 17 to you. Right then, darlings, I will go and put these plants where they're going to live at the bottom of the stairs. I will cut and de-flower, uh, not de-flower, de-leaf the, um, uh, the flowers and put those in the appropriate receptacles. Uh, I'll put this in the cupboard and I'll put these in the freezer and um, I'll come back to you in a minute. So there we go, carnations on the windowsill. We've got roses there on the table. And we've got our new houseplant friends down there at the bottom of the stairs. And on that note, darlings, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I am going to grab myself a nice hot bath. Um, do you find that when you've got a cold or some form of lurgy, um, you always feel just a little bit better after a long hot bath and climbing into some nice clean pyjamas. Well, I haven't got any pyjamas, uh, but I am going to have a, a nice hot bath and then before you know it, it will be time for tonight's live stream, Monday Night Live, the double length one. So looking forward to that. So thank you very much indeed for watching and... Um, I look forward to seeing you next time.